call this meeting to order. Uh, I am Adam Hawk, District 5. Sitting on the stand, we have the entire council, as well as Brooke Smith, a recorder, Mayor Brett Hales, and GL Critchfield, uh, and Jennifer uh, Kennedy, our executive director. Uh, we're going to begin with the Pledge of Allegiance, uh, and Bob Van Biver will lead us with that. Please repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic in which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty, justice for all. Thank you. So our first matter of business today is approval of minutes for January 2nd, 2024. Uh, do I have any comments or a motion? I will make a motion to approve the minutes of January 2nd, 2024. I will second them. So I have a motion from Council uh, Member Turner and a second from Council Member De or, um, Cotter. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Um, next moment, our next thing is citizens' comments. Uh, so we invite citizens to come up to the microphone. You have three minutes. Uh, state your name and city of residence and fill out the required form uh, from Patty. Okay. Going, going, gone. All right. No comment. We have no comments, so we'll move on to our consent agenda. Mayor Hales presenting. My goodness, I am wimpy when it's cold, so sorry about that. Um, so thanks for uh, allowing us to bring our, our uh, these appoint appointments to you and um, and I believe we have a lot of them here today, so we'll just move on. We ask that the uh, council um, approve these confirmations. Uh, first one, uh, appointment of Bob Van Biver to the Public Safety Advisory Board. And would you please stand when I read your name? Thank you, Bob. Um, uh, let's see, uh, to the Public Safety Advisory Board for a term from February 2024 to January 2025. Also, David Christensen, you please stand. thank you for being here, David. Uh, consider confirmation of the mayor's appointment of David Christensen to the History Advisory Board for a term from January 2024 to January 2027. Also, Mehdi, consider a confirmation of the mayor's appointment of Mehdi Tahiri to the Ethics Commission for a term from February 2024 to February 2027. Dan? Fazzini, I thought I saw him here too. Okay, so we'll consider a confirmation of the mayor's reappointment of Dan Fazzini to the Ethics Commission for a term of July 7, 2023 to uh, July 7, 2026. And then I saw Dwayne. Where is this? Thanks, Dwayne. Consider a confirmation of the mayor's reappointment of Dwayne Jess to the Ethics Commission for a term from July 7, 2023 to July 7, 2026. And then Dustin, I didn't think I saw Dustin. I don't see Dustin. Okay. Uh, consider confirmation of the mayor's reappointment of Dustin Matsumori to the Ethics Commission for a term from February 2023 to January 2026. And that's it. Any comments? Questions? No. I will, if none, I will take them. Um, as an entire a motion as an entire consent agenda. All right, I will make a motion to adopt the consent agenda as as um, discussed by the mayor. Thanks. I second it. So I have a motion from Council Member Turner and a second by Council Member Cotter. Uh, Brooke. Mr. Pickett. Aye. Ms. Cotter. Aye. Ms. Dominguez. Aye. Ms. Turner. Aye. Mr. Hawk. Aye. Thank you so much, and just a big thank you to all our uh, those that serve. Thank you again. It was an honor to meet with you, and and we appreciate you very much. So thank you for coming and and uh, 
this city would not run without you, so thank you. Thank you to everybody who serves in Mayor Hills. We will now move on to our public hearing. Uh, our first matter is to consider an ordinance amending section 17.152.020 and 17.152.030, the MG Zoning District, to allow land use number 6600 as, permitted, uh, as a permitted use instead of a conditional use. Zach Smallwood presenting. Hello, everybody. Uh, nice to see you tonight. So yeah, this is a request from the planning division staff to change the land use ordinance in our manufacturing zone from uh, for con contract wow contract construction services from a conditional use to a permitted use. Um, largely, this is going to affect the um, areas highlighted in yellow, which is our MG zone. Not largely, it is only going to affect those in highlighted in yellow, um, except there's a tiny little, a little one, which is the school district property um, that is still kind of right there that I didn't highlight because I didn't see it until it was up on this gargantuan screen. Um, so reason for this is that largely the planning staff believes that there is uh, less of an impact from a contractor use than from other permitted uses in the MG zone. Largely, uh, you have your manufacturing uses like car, uh, cabinet manufacturing uh, and also um, furniture manufacturing, a lot of heavy materials and you know chemicals can be used in these zoning districts. So we feel, felt like that the contractor use is less of an impact in this area than <clears throat> those permitted uses. Also, contractors by and large are allowed, um, permitted in almost every other zone in the city. Uh, well, sometimes just by, with like an office, um, these guys would be allowed to store material outside, but that's not anything very different than any other use in the MG zone. Uh, so we have uh, recommended them with these these findings located up here. Um, so supports the goals and objectives of the general plan. Um, it's consistent with the manufacturing zone, and um, we've uh, carefully considered it um, and yeah, allow for uh, businesses to have an easier time moving into the city as well. <clears throat> so with that, uh, the Murray, the Planning Commission did review this and voted unanimously to, to move forward with it. So the staff and the Planning Commission uh, recommend that the City Council approve the text amendment uh, to sections, not those, uh, section 17.152, dot 020 and 17.152.030 um, as reviewed in the as in the staff report questions for me at this point no because you basically answered it during the committee of the whole awesome so what I understand is that you you just took it off the conditional use uh -huh. and you're going to put it on the use classification so as permitted uses. As permitted yep. use. Yep, there are two tables. Okay. One's a permitted, one's conditional. Yep. Um, and if it's not listed in either of those, it's not allowed. So okay. we're just taking it from being reviewed, every application for a contractor to be reviewed at the Planning Commission mm -hmm. and allowing them to proceed pretty much to either a building permit or a business license. Okay. So do we have anybody who's wanting this right now? Do we have um, anyone? Not not at this moment, but we often have a lot of conditional uses for Request. contractor uses. Um, at least, I'd say at least half a dozen a year um, that we're processing um, where they could just end up doing this somewhere else and just go right into their business. Mm -hmm. Can delay them, you know, significantly. Um, well, I say significantly, you know, three, three to six weeks it can sometimes take just to get your business up and running in Murray. Um, this will eliminate at least that three to six week time frame. Thank you, Zach. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. okay. Thanks, Zach. Thank then you. I'll open this up for public comment. Uh, if you have any comments, please limit them to three minutes. Uh, step to the microphone, state your name, and then fill out the required form that Patty has. Okay. 
Okay, nope. Then with no public comments, I am open to a motion. I make a motion to uh, the ordinance amending section 17.152.020 and 17.152.030 M-G zoning district to allow land use number 6600 contract construction services as a permitted use instead of a conditional use. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I will second. Okay. I have a motion from Council Member Cotter and a second from Council Member Dominguez. Uh, Brooke, will you call the roll? Mr. Pickett. Aye. Ms. Cotter. Aye. Ms. Dominguez. Aye. Mr. Mr. Hawk. Aye. So our second public hearing is to consider an ordinance amending the city's fiscal year 2023 to 2024 budget. Brenda Moore presenting. Thank you, Council, for having me here and for considering um, our second budget amendment of the year. It's not the last, but the second. Um, this budget opening, as we have discussed in the committee at whole, uh, receives and allocates several grants and reimbursements, uh, the biggest of which is for the reimbursement from the um, California and I think it was Idaho fires that we went to so that we can um, use those funds to pay for the overtime and various things that um, happen when that happens. Um, and then um, new projects or needs um, that have increased since the start of the year. All of these are being paid for, all the new projects, um, most of them are being paid through uh, interest earnings. Um, we are still earning around 5% on all of our money so that allows us some leeway and not have to dip into reserves to cover additional costs. Um, the other thing this does uh, is allow me to adjust the budget for the year-end transfer of, um, I think our, our um, transportation sales tax is gonna come in above budget. And so I need to transfer that to the CIP where it is on reserve for future um, streets projects, and then also anything above 26% if we don't spend all of our money, which no department in the city has ever spent every dollar that they've been allocated. <laughs> I don't want this year to be the first, but I will transfer anything if our fund balance becomes over 26%, and I will need to adjust the budget um, for that. Uh, I think... Um, we went over all of the details of this. Um, do, does anybody have any questions? Do you want me to go back over all of the line items? Okay. Everybody good? Okay, thanks Brenda. Then I'll open this up to public comments. Three minutes, step to the microphone, state your name, city of residence, and fill out the form with Patty. Hello. Uh, I had a citizen comment, but I got here a little later, but I'm going to make it related to the budget so that it counts. Um, I, the committee of the whole meeting, the sound uh, was much better, and I really appreciate uh, the council and the city using their budget to put in a better sound system um, for the recording. Um, Mayor Hales mentioned in the committee of the whole meeting that he was hoping that people who care about preservation were listening about the adjustments regarding the Murray Theater and it costing a lot more than expected. Just as when anyone's building a home, they realize things always end up costing a lot <laughs> more than expected. But um, I can't speak for all that care about his historical preservation, but I personally really appreciate the city taking care of the Murray Theater and uh, spending the necessary money to make a great project that's going to be an anchor to our downtown and uh, really draw people in and um, uh, reinvigorate uh, Murray downtown. And, uh, and in relation to that, I really appreciate that the city listened about the sound for the committee of the whole, but also listened uh, to the citizen feedback about downtown, the downtown Murray area plan that's proposed. Uh, looks really good. And I feel like it's really heading in the right direction. And you can tell that the city took into consideration the feedback of citizens 
um, and with all of the open houses and surveys that happened. And I personally really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry, I will, I'll wait. I'll close the public comment. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to close it for you. <laughs> uh, sorry. So with that, any discussion or I'll entertain a motion. Discussion? I closed, yeah. yeah. No, I have no discussion. Okay, then I'll entertain a motion. Okay, I move that we consider an ordinance amending the city's fiscal year 2023-2024 budget. I second. I have a motion from Councilmember Dominguez and a second from Councilmember Pickett. Brooke, will you call the roll? Mr. Pickett. Aye. Ms. Cotter. Aye. Ms. Dominguez. Aye. Ms. Turner. Aye. Mr. Hawk. Aye. Okay, that concludes our public hearings. Uh, we're now on to the mayor's report. Thanks, Adam. And Clark, thanks for your comment, because I'm glad that that worked, because I was 100% sure that so it came across pretty good. Well, Jennifer warned us before, and if you're going to say anything, they're going to hear you. So we're glad that it worked, so thank you. Uh, the only thing I'm uh, here to report on is um, the two parks that the, we took over from the county last year. Uh, Riverview is being worked on as we speak, and Kim... I don't have my notes in front of me. Did you say that that should be done this spring? So Riverview, the playground is being worked on right now. Yeah, they want you to come up, if you will. Um, I'll talk about Woodstock Meadows also on the east side, but go ahead and thanks, Kim, for coming up. So Riverview Park, the playground has been removed, and a new one is being installed and will be in the next couple of weeks. We won't be able to do the port in, port in place surface until the water the weather warms. We've also ordered lights. Um, the area lights were not working at Riverview. And we're working on lights for the tennis court, which will become six pickleball courts. <clears throat> That's all planned to happen before the summertime. And at Woodstock, we've ordered the playground, which will be here and installed probably May. Thanks, Kim. So kind of exciting news that, as Pam said, we're bringing them up to our standards. <laughs> anyway, and so it's, it's great. And, and I, I may comment just a little bit what Clark said about uh, the historic. Yeah, it, we love that what we're doing with our mansion and the uh, armory and the theater. But it is, it's expensive. It's very, very expensive. <clears throat> like you said, like a house sometimes you, you, you it usually isn't. $2 million on a home, but but it it can be, I guess. Rosalba knows she's in a historic home, so it can be expensive. But anyway, we're, we're thrilled to do it, and we're excited to, to see the results, and we're hoping that. You know, you really never, like I said, you can't say when for sure, but Kim has said, I'll, I'll quit my job if this doesn't. No, he didn't say that, but, <laughs> but it will be, it'll be uh, we're thinking in the fall, so probably around October, November, that hopefully almost all of them are completed. And like we've done that before, but sometimes it takes a little longer, but that's what we're hoping for. So that's my report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Then I will take a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 And we are adjourned. <laughs>